Let's give Swedish pancakes a try today. They're lighter than an American pancake, but not quite the consistency of a crepe, somewhere in between. So today you'll need ingredients that you likely have in your kitchen. Flour, milk, sugar, salt, butter, and eggs. First thing we need to do is to melt two tablespoons of butter in the microwave so it cools a bit before we add it to the rest of the ingredients. Then we'll take one and a half cups of flour, a teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, whisk them together in a bowl, set them aside. Then we're going to go ahead and take four eggs, crack them into a bowl. You want to whisk them quite well till they're a little thicker and a lemon yellow color. Add two cups of milk, I'm using 2% today. Then add half of your dry ingredients to the wet to make sure it's very smooth and add the last, last half. Whisk well, we don't want any lumps in this pancake. When you have that completely whisked in and smooth, then we'll go ahead and add our two tablespoons of butter that's slightly cooled by now, which is awesome. And now we're ready to fry our pancakes. You want to heat a nonstick skillet on the stove, being sure that it's about medium heat when we start. A teaspoon of butter, you'll go ahead and add to that pan to give us a little bit more nonstick. You will only do this once. Then add your first quarter cup pancake batter. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and tilt the pan off the heat a bit to spread the pancake out. I think this is a good idea. It makes it a bit thinner. Go ahead and place it back on the heat for about 45 seconds or so till it gets a teeny brown on the edges. You'll notice when you flip it that it's the nice brown, light brown color. 10 more seconds or so on that side. And then I like to quarter them like this before I place them on the plate. They look real nice that way. Finish the rest of your pancakes. This batch will make about 15 to 16 Swedish pancakes. When you're through, traditionally lingonberry jam, which is a little bit like a cranberry jam, or I'm just going to use strawberry today. Whipped cream is great, any fruit you want. And of course, powdered sugar is a beautiful look. Gives you a little more sweetness. So go ahead and add the jam or whatever you like and give them a taste. Delicious, tender, flavorful, light, just a great treat. When you're through and you want to freeze the rest, it's easy to do that between parchment. So simply take some squares of parchment paper, place them one in between each sheet of paper and they're easy to freeze in a zipper bag and microwave quickly when you're ready to have them again. 